Birthday present number three's arrived. I've gone for the solo stove campfire. Um, this is definitely my last of my presents. I've gone a bit mad really, but anyway. Fueled by Mother Nature. Oh yes, can't wait to have a go with this baby. I've got a nice little uh, booklety thing there and all sorts of tags on here. Let's get this out of the way. Put that up there. And uh, not been used, all shiny shiny boys. I can't well, it's certainly a bit of a big bad boy, this. <laughs> oh, it's all nice and shiny. It weighs about a couple of pounds, so it's a bit of a luxury item, really, but I'm going to use it in back garden as much as I I will take it out with me. we put the lid in there. We've got a lovely size of burn chamber in there. I can't wait to have a go with this. Only downside is I'm going to need big pots on the bugger. But uh, I've fancied one of these for years, and I've never really, I've just couldn't be too much money in that, and I thought, I've gone mad, really, to be quite honest with you. What with the bloody uh, virus out and flipping life's too short, if you fancy something and you've got the spare, then bugger it. Go for it. 7.04 at the minute. I'm just sitting in the back garden. Because uh, it's Sunday now, and I wanted to go out with my stuff. It's a lovely bloody morning, but cold. Um, but, owing to the, the virus and things, um, there's been a real big change around at work, and I'm actually working from home now, which is good. At least I'm still going to get paid. Um, unfortunately, it means we've got some change thing coming over, and we've got to do some testing of some system, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Suffice to say, I've, um, I've got to um, be at home for 12 o'clock to start doing this testing stuff on my PC. So uh, I just didn't fancy going out and all the rigmarole. And then having to, you know, have to make sure I'm definitely back for about half eleven and all the rest of it. So anyway, <laughs> um, the old solo stove is brilliant. I've been using it on and off for <laughs> most days. I've had a good blast at it and I love it. It's brilliant. So I'm just going to do a bit of a video showing you that in the back garden. I know it's a bit of um, back garden uh, warrior action, but it's better than no. And I thought I'd better do some sort of video. Nothing too scientific with me boys, a bit of fire starter, some thin sticks and uh, we'll <laughs> see what develops. Of course how this works in the gasification, it's just min, it's sucking air in through the bottom holes, up through the gap in the side wall and uh, you end up with a, a really good drawer on it. That's decent quality wood. Obviously, if you've got wet wood, it would be a bit smokier. But once it gets going, you get hardly any smoke at all. It's bloody fantastic. Look, that's going already. As you can see already, boys, it's been going for about five minutes, and it's just a roar already. It's fantastic. I really do like this. It's, it's um, definitely the, the best um, wood stove I've got by far. Even though I like my Biolite, and that's probably com a bit more compact. It probably weighs about the same. Um, but... This is lovely because it's dead quiet and it's it's not as smokeless as the biolite I would probably say but it's not far off once it gets going and it's so easy to maintain you can chuck really big pieces look in at it. that already look at the gasification there already it's been going literally five or six minutes like I say it's brilliant there's only a tiny bit of wood in there as well and it's just bloody burning really well Now, another problem I've got with this, obviously it's massive and this won't fit on here. So we have to uh, be a bit um, tricky with it and just uh, lean it in. <laughs> I'm going to have to sort something out. I've got me, um, that's it, you can generally balance it somewhere. 
obviously we're going to get some smoky pans now, but hey, that's what it was designed for. That's a bit rubbish. I'll have to uh, do something about that. I'll put this pot on here now. That makes a bit more sense. The beauty of this as well is you've got this really big... Um, oh, oh, move it around a bit, boys. You've got this really big um, aperture so you can put some right chunky stuff in. And you can see as soon as that um, you put stuff in there, it seems to contain the heat really well. And it basically <laughs> just bursts back into flames, literally. Look at it. It's really, really well designed, this is. Seems to be really um, able to chuck some heat out as well. Uh, oh, it's steaming up now. Um, brilliant, love it. <laughs> as you all know, I love my stoves, just love them. Um, I think looking at this, I'm considering, I think the next purchase, when I get round to it, might not be for a while now, because I've gone a bit over the top. I think the next purchase, purchase is going to be the, the pots that accompany this quite big and bulky though so I'll have to look into that or I need I need a wide base pan of some sort with a lid because I hate it when the smoky if you don't have the lid on with fire it just gets really smoky and horrible you get a real taint especially with drinking tea as I've found so um, yeah I'm definitely this is an excellent product <laughs> it really is I'd, if you're in the market for a wood gas stove perhaps the Titan would be better for backpacking I would imagine but I do a lot of burning in my back garden so <laughs> and to be fair this weighs a couple of pounds it's a little bit heavy but for the distance I do it's not really a problem well as expected a few minutes later there she blows what a beautiful thing that is now where's me uh, my favorite little thing of the day a cup of tea for me I feel all from a few sticks boys and girls not too shabby at all. Cheers, my dears. <laughs>